So welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Shari Alicia here and in today's video we're going to do another empties. You guys know this is one of my favorites to do. And so let's just jump right into it because everything here, I truly, truly love it. So for don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment below. Let me know if you guys have tried anything. I'd love to create a community here in which we all gather around to just discuss what I bought, what I shop, what I spent money on, because I know y'all like to spend that money too. All right, let's talk about this Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. I really, 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 really like this. Um, I got this for $5 on Amazon. Amazon started sending me notifications for things that I were, was looking up and one day I was looking for body wash and this showed up and it was five bucks. I am a huge fan of OGX. I think that their their products are worth the money and they're more, they feel like more of an investment. Um, I like that they captured the smell of true coconut essence. I feel like I am on an exotic beach somewhere in the Caribbean just glowed up like my skin right now and just like this lasted a long time I, a little bit goes a long way it was very 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 moisturizing um i know they sell this on amazon but they also sell it at target near local walmart OGX does make really good hair products as well, but I, because I love this one, I was curious to see what else was out there, so I purchased the coffee bean one, and then I think I have the rose ivy or something like that, or is it Bath, Bath, Bath & Beyond? No, Bath & Body Works. I have the other one, and I'm excited to see what else they come out with. Um, I The coffee bean one is just okay. It has a little bit of a scrubber in it. Um, I'm curious to see how my body will... Uh, kind of adjust to the rose one but this is definitely something that would repurchase it if you are a coconut head um like me you will definitely really like this something that i would definitely repurchase i just need to get through the other flavors that i have in my bathroom right now but this is definitely very creamy moisturizing my skin felt really good i purchased this i want to say maybe back in may i might have talked about this on my channel before um but definitely worth the this is an oldie but a goodie i'm just going to talk about it even though it's not available anymore i've checked so many times i got this actually from my mother um this is the victoria's secrets hydrating body lotion and i Acai. it's a cotton moisture complex every once in a while Victoria's Secret is a hit or miss with their creams and lotions and um, all the stuff that they have like their body wash and their spray it's hit or miss a lot of things smell like alcohol if we're being truthfully honest but every once in a while you find something and you fall in love I google this oh, this smells literally ooh, there's still some left like sex like I wish I smell like this every single day like if i could have a signature scent it would be this i went and googled how much this was on ebay it's stupid it is a stupid 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 but let me tell you something if i ever become a rich bitch and drink rich bitch juice i will probably buy that three pack on ebay that's probably worth let me put the price right here so you guys can see how stupid this is this is very sexy it's very sensual it's very fresh and feminine and um it was very hydrating i definitely i i hate that brands do this like why do you toy with my emotions and create something and then get rid of it have you ever guys ever tried this hands down might be the best hand lotion i have ever used in my life i have a bunch i feel like i've tried them all but i am one of those people that's always looking for lotion if you have been watching my channel and you are friends with me in real life you know that i've asked you once twice too many times do you have lotion do you have lotion i hate dry hands so much like it is a pet peeve to see ashy hands ashy up i don't want to see ashy i don't want to be ashy i don't want to be known as ashy i don't want to look ashy no no i want to be glow master flex and this is the type of lotion gold bond it's so hydrating for your hands like this shit belongs in every purse i don't know why i haven't repurchased this but looking through my empties bag i'm like yes i need this i need this i need this and you need it too please get it because i know you guys are actually out the birthday gift from sephora what the entire fuck this coco cabana cream from sol de janeiro oh sis get your hands on this uh, there's one for twenty dollars and there's one for forty five dollars. I'm really trying to stomach purchasing it for forty five dollars, but this the way in so I have the other one. I like it. It's a little too candy tasting like, but this the way it emulsifies like one little scoop in your skin literally transforms. I guess I'm in Brazil. It's really, 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 really fucking nice. Like this smells. Whenever I put this on, I feel like immediately people are like, "What are you wearing?" 
what is that and I don't know if it's because I take chlorophyll and it makes whatever I put on my body last a little bit longer or because I'm just really into like smelling good all the time but this took coconut stuff like this to a whole nother dimension this is worth the birthday gift this is worth the money it smells like sex it makes your skin hydrated it's just like the way lotion should be in your body this is it this is it this is it this is the honey pot company sensitive foaming wash um i've had this this is probably my second bottle no this is my first the second bottle is in the bathroom now I've tried the other flavor which was like a sunrise honey melon dew or whatever something like tropical wasn't a huge fan um, it didn't irritate or anything like that but I just prefer the sensitive one um, I feel just a little bit more cleaner and refreshed with it I'm a huge fan of honey pot as you if you guys have been watching this channel for a long time and you know that I am team honey pot my little beefing tin it's just a small one it can be fixed um, I've seen on Twitter and on Instagram that they are working on fixing this their pump seems to like oh now it's working now it's working but at some point it just stops like I don't know it just stops like coming down and at one point I got stuck and I don't know if this is just because I haven't used this bottle technically in like maybe a month that the I wonder what is this fucking thing called um I guess the spring that pushes it up and then pushes it back up was having some issues and people have been complaining about it for a while. That's my only beefing with it. I think that this is an amazing product. <laughs> the dogs are tripping right now just to play with it. It's 10 o'clock at night. Go to bed. Anyways, um, so this is from, is this Avon? No, this is actually Mary Kay. So this is called the Cityscape Silkening Dry Oil Mist. I've had two bottles of this. Well, years ago I had one, went to my mom's house recently in Florida and I got this. I took this from her, she's not gonna use it. I'm a huge fan of oils. I love oils, especially if they smell good. I prefer them in the summer and in winter time. I think they're, you should use them year round. What I like about it, sometimes I don't wanna put on thick ass lotion and sometimes I do, but this is good for like those days where like you wanna smell really good before bae comes over, even for yourself, fuck bae. <laughs> But you get out of the shower, you spray this on your body. This is meant to be sprayed on, I think dry skin, apply to legs, arms, decollete, to enjoy a subtle fragrance and a subtle silky sheen. Okay, so it doesn't, it says dry oil mist. I'm a huge fan of the smell. Um, I like this after to get the full sheen you should do it on dry skin but i like it coming out of the shower bath and body works had a whole collection of oils that i used to purchase and i don't know why they stopped it i think every brand that makes body care should make a dry oil because your skin can get, your skin gets dry it doesn't matter how much fucking water you drink how evenly your balanced meals are i think that hydration from head to toe is essential for life and this is one of those products that i feel like is worth it if you know a mary Kay rep um please purchase it and get get this because it smells really good and i feel like it lasted a very long time um i might just hit up my aunt to purchase one of these but i also have another oil that i want to try um so that i can review on the channel because you girl loves oil and last but not least i have the shea moisture manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair protein power treatment with mafuro mafura and baobab oils strength and protection extremely dry brittle hair this ladies and gentlemen i need to repurchase actually soon so i went to target recently and I have been feeling like ever since I took the braids out, my hair was like extra, extra to dry. I don't know if it's just because I just didn't shampoo it. I low-key miss my fro, but I already want to braid it up. I was looking for a deep conditioner. It seems like my local Target just seems to be out of everything. And I end up getting this like humectant um, oil. I'm gonna put a picture up on this side. I got it. I did not, I like honey in products, but I don't like something that mimics exactly honey because I feel like it was just kind of starchy in my hair. I hated it so much. And 
then I got another like treatment and it's it's from Argan oil or cream of nature that has Argan in it. I liked it but I really really want a deep conditioning uh, conditioner and I prefer this one I think that I'm gonna just finish the Argan oil the cream of nature Argan oil treatment that I got it definitely helped detangle my hair I really liked how my hair felt with this this is I like just because the way that it penetrated my strands was exactly what I need. Like, I do have dry hair. I have always had dry hair. I feel like because I'm low porosity and just my curl pattern, it is a lot to manage, which is why I have to do productive styles. I have to wash my hair pretty often. I have to detangle it often. I have to really, really, really put a lot of care into my hair. And unfortunately there are so many products that just don't work especially when you have low porosity it's just it's it's a shit show honestly and this was one of those products that really worked i this lasted me probably like six or seven months maybe a little bit longer um i'm not a huge fan of shea moisture i'm gonna be completely honest with you because i've heard so many stories and read so many articles of it drying out people's hair i think their line and the vision that they have for shea moisture of like having multiple you know kinds of what's the right word i think their avenue of having different kinds of products underneath their whole the whole umbrella of like hair care is dope you know you got your conditioner you got your creams you got your milks you've got a, you've got body care i think that's all awesome i but something that we don't talk enough about on i think on youtube just in general anything that is like media per se when it comes to black hair is that sometimes when these brands get under the umbrella of who's their manufacturer they're under somebody and i think once these brands get under the umbrella of of like you know a johnson and johnson or whatever i just feel like you kind of lose the integrity of the product and shea moisture isn't the same moisture same same moisture that it was 10 years ago when we first became natural i have been on and off natural for probably 11 years and when i saw it on an office because i've gotten bald and I, yes technically that's considered um you know natural because my curl pattern is still there i just say on and off because i've had so many different styles but i have been natural on and off for like the last 11 years i feel like i've tried everything but on my channel i've never really talked about it just because i've been sort of beauty and skincare related but i do want to incorporate hair into my channel so that we can discuss like you know the journey of my hair because it is growing and i'm excited to see what i do with it next and i've been trying to play with styles and stuff like that um my hair needs a lot of tlc and this is one of those products that i think if you are a 4c 4z like that tight curl pattern if you have dry hair just because it's dry and it just needs a lot of love or if you have low porosity this is definitely something that is worth uh purchasing i will say that you do want to pay attention to the instructions that state 10 to 15 minutes because it's trying to nurture the cuticles so much protein has the ability to just like break off as well and i the treatment that i did last or the night before yesterday um i left a little bit longer and i felt like ugh, my hair kind of didn't really like that also i think i need to get a new bonnet my bonnet probably is like over it but i'm really trying to love my hair as much as possible and not feel like i hate it because that's really what called me to cutting it off so many times like I, a whole year ago i've been watching my channel for a while i didn't have any hair i just was like low low bald cut i was a blonde bitch and i loved it i loved every second of it and trust me every day i'm thinking you know you could go bald but i wouldn't do that because i actually want to see how far i can grow the longest i've had um natural hair like allowing length to just like to grow it out was probably about almost a little less than five years um and my shit was long i was a long wavy goddess but i always had a fro because i was lazy and had extreme breakage and so i still have to say that i am motivated to see my hair grow and to try different styles and really give it the tlc that it truly 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 needs and deserves it's such a long battle you know it's really a long battle and i think i've had hair issues probably all of my life i'm babbling but anyways um that wraps up this video guys um i hope that you enjoyed this video please sound off in the comments below if there's anything that you have tried and if you do recommend anything especially for hair or any other kind of skincare products please let me know and i look forward to making another video for you guys again um and i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe